Welcome to third episode of Open RAN series. Today we will discuss the RAN disaggregation, which one of the most important concepts in Open RAN philosophy. So let's start. Before discussing uh, what is RAN disaggregation, let's discuss first the RAN protocol itself. And in general, uh, RAN protocol was exists in traditional RAN. So here we can see, for example, the protocol of RAN from physical to RRC. So let's discuss first one by one. Physical layer. So this is the first uh, protocol in the RAN protocol stack, and it it is responsible for coding, modulation, and uh, different types of layer one. Um, a layer one function of protocols. And second one, most important one, media access control or MAC, and it's responsible for buffering, uh, multiplexing, demultiplexing, segmentation for the block size, including all real time scheduling decisions about what segments are transmitted, when also some feature like carrier aggregation and uh, PIM management. Third one is RLC or radio link control, and it's responsible for segmentation and reassembly, including reliable uh, transmission and uh, receiving segment by implementing some of like uh, uh, repeated uh, retransmission like ARC or automatic repeat request, for example. And the fourth one, BDCP uh, or packet data convergence protocol, and it's responsible for compressing and decompressing IP headers, ciphering, integrity protection, and making like uh, an early forwarding decision like whether to send the packet down as of applying to the user equipment, for example, or forward it to another uh, base station. And the last one here is RRC, Radio Resource Control, one of the most important, and it's called the layer three uh, protocol responsible for configuring the uh, uh, like policy related aspect of the pipeline RRC also runs in the RAN control plane as we know uh, we have control plane and data plane so RRC one of the control plane it doesn't process any packets on the user plane so uh, if we can see here uh, this is called layer 3 messages or layer 3 protocol all of them here, it's layer two, and uh, here we can say it's layer one, okay? So in this case, uh, when we discussing RAN protocol stack before RAN disaggregation, as RAN disaggregation, it will de as, uh, disaggregate this protocol in different types of nodes. For example, now everything in the E node B uh, for 5G, for example, so all these protocols, will uh, be done in the uh, the same site or the same cell okay so when we are discussing in the upcoming uh, uh, slides we will see there will be like rrc will be disaggregated with with different kind of uh, protocols so here as you can see for example uh, the question now is how we can disaggregate the protocol and which protocol can be, for example, moved from cell site and which protocol we can't move it uh, to like data center or something like that. But the high level concept here is only the antenna and the radius. Antenna in the radio must be uh, reside or uh, be hosted in the cell site. We can say RRH or remote radio uh, head or remote radio units with required as a cell site. Some of real time processing functions should be near from the site due to like latency requirements. So there will be some limitation to host, for example, MAC layer. So it's not easy to, to say all of this protocol we can virtualize in data center or any codes uh, hardware, for example. We need to understand how we can move this protocol far from the site. What are the protocol are real-time sensitive, what are non-real-time sensitive. Based on this discussion, we can decide, we can move which protocol to which distance from the site. So here uh, we will see some transport uh, words like front hole, mid hole, and uh, we will discuss this in the next slide. So here 3GPB, 
has defined like eight functional uh, split options for front hole networks in technical report uh, uh, specs 38. Uh, 801 as I remember as you can see there are some options from option 1 to option 8 and here you can see this is RF and this is a RRC or layer 3 you can see here for example option 1 you can see RRC and uh, for example BC, uh, uh, BDCP okay so this is called we will move or we will split the RAN protocol between two nodes node will host all of these protocols and another node to host RRC. Option two will host PDCB with RRC in one node and the other in second node and so on. So here, but we will not focus on all these splits. We will focus on just the two splits. This is related to ORAN Alliance 7 and option two. And why we need to discuss two options as we will C or we will have a three entities. Entities between option two and the seven is called the EU, and another one is called RU, and it will host the low physical and RF. And the third one, the most important one, responsible for control everything, is called the CU. Now we need to understand CU, DU, RU, all of them. Well, one node is called E node B if we are talking about 4G. So in 4G, we will disaggregate the E node B to three entities, CU, DU, RU. Let's discuss in more details. You can see here, in open RAN environment, the RAN is disaggregated in three main building blocks, ready unit, distributed unit, and centralized unit. And the RU here, is where the radio frequency signals are, uh, for example, transmitted and received, amplified, and digitized. So the RU is located or near or integrated into the antenna, for example. Okay. So, however, DU and the CU are computation uh, parts of the base station. So it's sending the digitalized radio. Uh, signal into the network and the DU is physically located at or near from the cell site. So we can host, for example, DU in the cell site with the RU or we can host in the data center with the CU. However, CU most probably can be located near to the core network in the data center. So based on uh, which scenario or which deployment we need, uh, there are a different scenario uh, and there are different requirements of latency and the throughput and also different types of sites like macro site, indoor site, uh, rural, uh, suburban and so on. So there are many factors we can discuss in another episode, but this is just overall uh, overview about how we can make this disaggregation. Also, the key concept of Operan is opening the protocols and the interfaces between these various building block, radios, hardware, and software in the RAN. So, Oran Alliance has defined different interfaces within the RAN, including, as you can see, front hall between RU and DU, and also the uh, mid hall option two between CU and DU. So, this all the main concept of RAN disaggregation, we make a disaggregation of protocols. So when say, for example, uh, people asking about what is disaggregate? Yes, you disaggregate the hardware from software or you decouple hardware from software. This is step number one. Step number two, you also disaggregate the protocols in different types of nodes in RU, DU, CU. And based on this, we will see mid hole. So when you see mid hole option two, even uh, you see front hole option 7.2x, uh, there are some specs here and specs here. And this is specs will control. Can you host DU in any distance far from the site? No, there will be some limitation. Mid hole, yes, it will be less limitation. Why? As a CU will host non real time processing. It's uh, uh, something is not latency sensitive processing function, okay? But DU will host the most important near real time processing function. So 
But for that reason, we need to very uh, like careful about latency in the front hole versus the latency for mid hole. Okay. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notification for all upcoming Opera and episodes. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the YouTube video comment sections and see you in the next episode.